right we're going to take a quick look at the brand new hick micro condor 2 series of thermal monoculars just to give you a quick feel of what's included in the box and the actual unit itself the design of the unit and some of the improved features so cq50l the box itself within that box you have an instruction manual here you have a strap which is for your padded carry case you have a strap for the unit the next strap and you have two batteries here this is the new 21700 battery so it's a 5.5 amp hour capacity much larger wider diameter uh, battery bigger overall it's going to give you extended runtime you also get this new padded carry case which is a nice little case two straps on the back pouch either side and you get an elasticated loop which goes onto a brass hook there and it's a nice sort of padded carry case inside like a fluffy sort of inside so it's not going to damage the unit it's got a bit of hick micro brand in there most of these cases have got like a magnetic uh cover strap or they've got a velcro this is like an elasticated style so it's it's really quick to get open and close it so that's a nice little feature with the unit and then obviously you've got the unit itself mentioned the batteries you get two of them batteries with it and you get a dual charger dock that's within the uh, actual packaging for charging them so the unit itself is very similar to the previous condor in design and looks but there is some good features on it so first of all with a grip in your hand the power button is now on the side that falls to your button very e sorry your thumb very easy to just power on and power off very quickly and it's out the way you're not going to touch the top of the unit so you're never, never going to have an accidental power down at the top you do have this focus adjustment now there is other units with a single hand focus and some of them it's sort of like using your you sent you you sent a finger um to try and adjust it rather than using your index finger index for me is a better position here because it's where you've got more control on your index finger and it just feels more natural being there it's also very only needs minor adjustments to focus it others you've got to really scroll back and forwards to get it in focus this only needs a, a slight touch on the focus which personally i prefer other things changes externally when you're looking at it. This eye cup is now a flex back and it keeps out the way. Definitely better than the previous one that used to sort of stick in your eye. This one, you bend it back if you're wearing glasses, you can get your eye right close to the actual eye display. Lens caps, very similar to the previous one, although there will be no focus adjustment on the front like the old style model because you've got that new single hand focus at the back. Battery cap is slightly different style, quarter turn, pops out you've got that new 217 battery and it closes in so that's it basically externally the changes slight difference on the buttons to the previous ones it allows it to be feel which buttons are which a bit easier other than that the most changes are internally within the unit so you now have a 15 mk sensor net d and this is a shuttleless design so the 15 mk is already available on the likes of the stella etc so that's going to give you an improved detail on whatever you're viewing. And the shuttleless design, which is a HSIS style, what Hick Micro have termed it, it means you're going to have that shuttleless, non-calibration style of thing, which can sometimes be annoying for some people, but it's not going to have that classic click of the calibration going on. So that's another slight improvement on these units over the previous ones you've still got the 1000 meter lrf it's out the way of the lens it's not going to hinder anything it's not going to stop anything from uh, any infrared being blocked slightly on the lens itself because it's well away from the lens big improvement on the display is a 1920 by 1080 0 0.49 inch display oled display it's nice big large display uh, that can be you can either choose a sub round image or a sort of square style image i prefer the square but that's selectable within the menu itself another nice feature tied into all the actual sensor and the image on the display is the fact there's two new color palettes which are available on the stellar models again and the habrox and it's the red and green palette so for me them two palettes do help with uh, eye fatigue for extended viewing if you're using them you're not going to get as much sort of eye sting from a single eye viewing from like a monocular style unit 
So like I say, new battery system, 21700. That new battery will give you extended runtime up to six hours, depending on what you're doing with the LRF or the Wi-Fi on the unit. And lens is a 0 0.9. So it's a faster lens than the previous one, which was an F1. That's going to give you a little bit more sensitivity of the unit itself. So that is, in a nutshell, the Condor 2. For me, the biggest two factors on the Condor 2 over the previous one is the single hand focus. That single hand focus is a, a real good feature. So if you're out shooting, you've got to hold your gun on a stick on one side or you need to grab something, you're not having to manually use two hands and then let go of anything you're holding, you're basically doing it all on one hand. Really slick, easy. You can keep all your gun sitting on a tripod, whatever you're doing. So massive benefit for me having the single hand focus the other two good points are the big display it's a nice having a larger display on the unit itself and that increased runtime with them larger capacity batteries they're the big features for me the rest of them are just nice to have it's like i say power button out the way you're not going to knock it on but yeah that's a new condor too and these are going to be really popular and there's also the falcon 2 series coming and these are both Models Condor 2, Falcon 2 are going to be around in about two weeks available. Like uh, probably around when we see the, uh, the shooting show, etc. That's when they'll be available to buy. But they'll be mega popular. 2025, probably one of the best selling monoculars, I would say. Personally, that's going to be available out there. We do have them listed on the website. If you do need any questions answering or, you know, any info, drop us a message, drop us a phone call if we can get back to you as and when depending on how busy we are we'll get back to you but we will be stocking these and they will be available very soon so that is the condor 2 series in a nutshell and there's a cq35 didn't mention drop, uh, price points of these the new condor 250 that's going to be sitting slightly higher than the previous model which is 2399 the previous one was 2199 uh, the condor 35 is going to be 2099 and again the previous one was 1899 so there is some slight price increases with the different changes on the units themselves but still really competitive pricing for the performance and the features you get so there you go that is the condor 2 thanks for watching